and welcome back to hell. Satan couldn't be here today, so I am filling in. A few months ago, I made a video about the creator of the Netflix show 12 Forever and her lust for 14 year old boys. Guess who was in line to go on Sizzler with us? This beautiful, androgynous, long black haired, emo 14 year old boy wearing tight black pants and a black t shirt with the name of some band that probably sucks and his lip injected fake red haired mother who looked like a washed up rock star. Tony was nice enough to follow this poor boy around the small carnival with me as I tried to sneak photos. Somebody call now Oh god, if only his mom hadn't been there. Fuck, this was the best day ever. Why am I so creepy? Hashtag awful. Hashtag pedophile. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. But I had to take the video down because there was some misinformation in it. She actually was not fired. So I had to take the whole video down. That was the misinformation part. Now in the comments of that video, and a quick reminder, I am always reading the comments. I'm always there, screen capping and saving the weird shit you say. I see all. I'm watching you. I found this cursed comment. I'm gonna have to go against the grain here and say what she did was cute and completely harmless. This excessive obsession with hunting down pedophiles has become completely absurd in recent years, especially when it comes to female-on-male pedophilia, which honestly isn't a big deal 99% of the time. I still remember my friend and I asking these older college girls in their early 20s to give us a ride to the local pool, which was about a mile away, when we were 14. They said sure and let us get in the car. After we were in, they both turned around in their car seats and said, you know that we're child predators, right? And me and my friend both looked at each other and said, sounds good to me, in unison, which they laughed. Teenage boys want to get molested and by older girls. Believe me. So let's get this out of the way. I doubt that happened. And second of all, what? Could you imagine? Could you imagine someone saying, teenage girls want to be molested and by older men. Believe me! Yeah, a little weird. And it's weird that you even have to switch it for it to sound weird. Today we are going to be discussing the creepy double standard when it comes to female predators. How one of them is played off as a joke and a fantasy, and the other is rightfully condemned and shamed. South Park famously did an amazing episode about this. Kyle's little baby brother was like dating his kindergarten teacher, and like nobody cared, even the police were like, Nice. 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 You always see articles like teacher has sex with male student. Teacher sleeps with male student. Has sex with and sleeps are really funny ways to spell rape. And they almost always show like really hot photos of the teacher. Like sometimes they even show them in like their bikinis. Could you imagine an article like this? There is an epidemic, grown ass teachers molesting and young boys. So we are going to take a look at some of these stories together. Brittany Zamora was bored, she allegedly told her class. The Arizona teacher, then just 27, had only joined the Goodyear school as a sixth grade teacher the year before. It was there, according to documents, that Zamora and the 13 year old boy known as John Doe first connected. I'm bored, Zamora allegedly told the boy. I don't know about you, but when I'm bored, I like to watch movies, I like to go on Twitter. Brittany Zamora? She likes to molest 13 year old boys. We all have our hobbies. <laughs> Zamora became more aggressive in her interactions with the 13 year old. She openly flirted with John Doe during recess, according to multiple students. Recess! This boy has recess still! I just. Okay, we have to get through this because there are so many articles like this. The first alleged full on sexual encounter between Zamora and John Doe took place just after Valentine's Day. While the boy was staying at his grandparents' house, Zamora allegedly drove over in the middle of the night and the boy snuck out to meet her in her car. She allegedly returned the following night and they had sex. She said she wanted to give me a blowjob and my stuff was really big and stuff like that. When the interviewer asked to clarify what stuff meant, he whispered, 
penis. These are children! That is a thing a child would say! So he told a friend, because of course he told a friend. He's a 13 year boy, he's gonna be like, dude, I totally hit that. And then his friend said this. It's like weird how a 27 year old can like love a 13 year old and do stuff. It's just crazy. They can like love each other and do, they don't love each other, sweetie. And then the friend said, she's not a good person. His mom then noticed that he was acting quiet and he eventually came out to his parents and his dad said this to the teacher. You're a child molester. Do you understand me? <laughs> Based dad. Why do you say that? Zamora answered. What? At one point, Zamora's husband got on the phone. She has a husband. Imagine being the husband in this scenario. Like, it's one thing to find out your wife is having an affair with somebody, like, around her age. It's another thing to find out your wife is having an affair with a child. This is what he said. You ready for this cucked shit? Brittany has been a great teacher for a long time. Five years. She's done so much for so many students. Yeah, I'm sure she has. She made a huge mistake! Everybody makes mistakes. I've driven through a stop sign, um, I've made many typos, um, 2014, just the whole year. Video recorded at the time shows Zamora sobbing as she tells police that she's worried about what might happen to her in jail. I'm little, she said. They're gonna tear me apart. Wow, it's almost like you're small and vulnerable. Like a child. I can't. I can't with this bitch. So as time went on, the kid started getting depressed. He started to express different emotions. He's sad and he slept all day. It's starting to hit him, the reality of what actually happened. So at first, this kid was probably like, nice, nice, yes. The reality of being a literal victim, as always with these cases, as you'll see as we go on, always catches up to them in the worst ways. Texas teacher had sex with her eighth grade English student on an almost daily basis, police say. Alexandria M. Vera, an English eighth grade teacher at Stovall Middle School in Houston, told police in April that the relationship she had with one of her students started through messages on Instagram and had evolved into a great love. She stated that she and the boy had sex on almost a daily basis at her home and they love each other. Lawson did not classify Vera as a traditional pedophile, but believes she was truly in love with the student. So she's a map. We got a map on her hand. In January, Vera said she discovered the boy had gotten her pregnant. When the couple told the boy's family, according to the teacher, they were ecstatic and supportive. Eighth grade. An eighth gr- Eighth grade. Former teacher accused of having sex with Florida eighth grader. The eighth grade student told detectives that she would send him nude photos and would go to his home at night, picking him up at about 11 p.m. and bringing him back hours later. And all of these like grown ass women like picking up these little boys. Like this kid can't even drive yet. Doesn't that like send off some kind of like signal in your mind that this is wrong? They can't, they can't even drive. Detectives said the teen told them that Peterson asked him not to tell anyone about their relationship or they would get into trouble. The teen also said that Peterson brought him marijuana and bowls for smoking it. He said that his grades suffered after the relationship started. Wait, so they're gonna bang and she's not even gonna give him better grades? Isn't that like always the thing? Like, oh, I'll give you an A. These pedos, man. An eighth grade instructor in Philadelphia has been charged with having sexual intercourse with a young student on more than 10 occasions. Sexual intercourse. The special education teacher had sex with her 14 year old student several times at her home and in her car, the district attorney's office said. The encounters, which prosecutors say, were consensual. <laughs> Prep school coach admits pressuring teen boy for sex. A former swim coach at Malvern Prep pleaded guilty on Monday to pressuring a 16 year old into a sexual relationship. Prosecutors say that Finney told the boy she would get him into Harvard in exchange for sex. Finney had been sending him inappropriate emails and text messages since 2014 when he was 16 years old. At one point, Finney kissed the boy. 
investigators say. The messages included a topless photo and other pictures of herself in various stages of undress. She also allegedly sent such messages as, I adore you, always have, always will. If you ever cared about me, please don't shut me out, it's too painful. The victim told investigators he repeatedly told Finney to stop, saying, I'm not interested in you. End of story. I'm 16. I'm not <laughs> into you. Absolute Chad. Despite the teen's rejections, Finney continued her pursuit. Thirsty bitch. Telling him she could use her connections to get the teen into Harvard. In another message, Finney allegedly said, If you'd just stop fighting and let it happen you'd be a lot less uptight and much happier. Alleged. Alleged. <laughs> Alleged sex victim of teacher assistant. She bought me things. Teen who was the alleged sex victim of a former Wake County teacher assistant told ABC Tuesday that she manipulated him. She would buy me clothes, give me cash, just all sorts of things. The next thing I know, like, one thing led to another, and I told her, like, before everything started, I'm like, you know I should wait till I'm 18. And she was like, no, that's alright. Don't nobody have to know about it! <laughs> the teen said he was too young to fully understand what was happening. I was 16 at the time. Who's not going to think that's cool? Oh, I'm sleeping with my teacher. I'm in high school. Who's not gonna think that's cool? But like, really, at the end of the day, it's really not, because now that I think about it, I realize I see the light, and she's a really sick individual. Former teacher pleads guilty to molesting a 14-year-old girl. So now that it's a female teacher molesting a female student, suddenly the headline is molesting. Former Southern California teacher pleaded guilty to child molestation. The criminal case is closed, but the victims Mother wants answers from the school district. Under the plea agreement, Zellinger will have to register as a sex offender, attend classes for sex offenders, and is required to spend 120 days behind bars that will occur on weekends. Parents outraged over light sentence for Louisiana substitute teacher who had sex with students. Parents are outraged after a substitute teacher charged with having sex with their children gets a plea deal. The woman won't serve jail time or register as a sex offender. That means there's legally nothing from keeping her from teaching again. She was 30, they were 16 and 15, and she gets no jail time, and she doesn't have to register as a sex offender. Hell world. Teacher who drunkenly had sex with students and claims she didn't remember it, avoids jail time. Since when is that an excuse? Florida teacher accused of having sex with teen several hundred times. Florida special education teacher. It's already gross that these women are taking advantage of their powerful position and preying on vulnerable kids, but there's something even grosser about the fact that a few of these teachers have been special education teachers. That's like an even greater power dynamic added. Also, I shouldn't be shocked, but why are there so many Florida cases? Why is Florida the way that it is? She was his first and only sexual partner, and he believed himself to be in love with her. This is sad. She allegedly gifted the teen with an iPhone, necklace, bracelet, and other items during the relationship. So there's obviously a pattern here. They bribe these children with like promises of good grades, of Harvard, they give them gifts. Orlando karate teacher sent nude photos to 11 year old boy in her class. The boy's mother opened his kick social messaging app on his phone last week and found Figueroa's sick messages to him according to a police report. I want to have sex with you, she told him in one message, inviting him to her 21st birthday party. Okay, I don't care, the boy replied. <laughs> Look at this one. Little Miss Twisted. Female teacher 37 admits to having her 14 year old pupil's baby. I think I've said this before, but I've been to my own fan meetups. I know what 14 year old girls and boys are like. Your babies, your fetuses. I will protect you from the pedos. So one of the things people kind of jokingly bring up often is like, oh, some of these women are so attractive. Why are they going after kids? The power. 
they're not going after these kids because they're like in love with them or something. They're going after them because they can. There's a massive power imbalance. That's why the whole like school girl, school teacher thing is such a common role play. So what is the internet's reaction to these stories? Well, exactly what you would expect. Married teacher who gave student 14 oral sex is allowed back into the classroom after avoiding jail. We need to track this boy down and give him luckiest boy in America badge. She should get a medal for making that boy's decade. Come the lucky lad comments. If it was a male teacher, people would want him castrated. It's wrong no matter the gender. Always such a breath of fresh air to see normal people on this hell site. Boys and girls, it's different rules, don't be a pussy. And now I want to die again. And the problem is... The pedophilia. That was one lucky 14 year old. I hope the 14 year old was okay. It must have been a traumatic experience. So, everyone's just incredibly horny online, and they project their fantasies onto these cases. You don't understand what it's like to be a teenage boy. Do you think teenage girls aren't hormonal? Do you think teenage girls aren't attracted to older men or teachers? But this ongoing thing of like, the pedophile was hot, so it's okay. God, when I was like eight years old, all my friends were like super into the Backstreet Boys and NSYNC. I thought they were super hot. That doesn't make it okay for the adult to prey on the child. You are literally making the children can consent argument that creeps like this have made. I feel that only at around the age of four are children perhaps able to consent to sexual acts. And I know that it's funny to be like, nice, cool, like I'm not dictating that you can't joke, but this kind of attitude is what makes it so easy for these women to get away with shit like this. That's why all these articles say, had sex, sleeps with, and the only one that didn't word it like that was when the victim was a girl. Because of this attitude, it's rare that these predators ever get caught. It's rare for a young boy to speak out when this is happening to them. There's a lot of, I'm supposed to like this, right? This is cool, right? My friends will think this is cool. I shouldn't say anything because people will think I'm gay or a pussy. Oh shit, she's pregnant. I'm a 13 year old dad now. I've actually talked to a few male victims like this one, just on my Twitter alone. I know from personal experience the mental and emotional damage this can cause. To this day, I have extreme difficulty forming any sort of relationship with women. I both fear and crave intimate connection, and it has killed my self-esteem. But I've been seeing therapists for a number of years, and I'm learning to move forward. It's a slow process undoing the damage and not living in the past. I refuse to blame anyone for my issues, but understanding my past helps fix my future. People who abuse children, regardless of gender, are sick in the head and are causing damage that, in many cases, is irreparable. I've attempted suicide seven times in my life, and I'm positive the destruction of my childhood is the root cause of my suicidal self-loathing. But yeah, dude, where was she when I was a kid, am I right? Female offenders should be taken just as seriously as male offenders. So that was my TED talk. If you liked this video, be sure to subscribe. Also, if you want, you can donate to my Patreon and get access to my Discord server. I'm actually about to pop in there right now and go voice chat. Be sure to share this video every single time you see some head ass like, where was she when I was a kid? Also be sure to subscribe to my alternate channel, Brainlet. I have been on there nonstop because of the election. You know who doesn't like to be lectured by powerful women? Male voters. I don't know about you, but I have seen a large chunk of Tulsi Gabbard's fan base. And let me just tell you, those men would love to be lectured by powerful women. Step on me, mommy Tulsi. Punch me in the face. I probably post like three videos there a week. And yeah. Bye. Say bye. Ollie says pedos are bad.